stepped into my food. Uh, I'm not supposed to leave my food all around the place. That's how I usually eat. Like, I always take more food than I was supposed to eat, and then I eat as much as I can and just sort of in a rush to so just leave the food on the floor. And uh, I think that's something I have to have to change. What's up, everyone? It's Bowley Blaze here. I'm a natural bodybuilder from Hungary. In May, I had a bodybuilding competition. Back in Hungary, it's called IMBA, you might know the association, they have serious drug tests, a really good association if you're a natural bodybuilder. I never wanted to compete because of the hype around steroids and growth hormone and things like that. I want to be part of something else, so I decided to stay natural. It was actually a really great journey and I would recommend everybody considering doing natural bodybuilding. For me, hunger was really savage. I was really moody. I have a really strong willpower, but still, it was the hardest thing I ever done in my life. Considering this, I think it's it's not an easy thing to do, but I learned a lot from that. Mainly, it showed me how much I can handle if I want something bad enough, and I used this mindset several times ever since when I felt like giving up on something else. I've also learned minor practical things like coffee suppresses appetite, sweeteners make me bloated, veggies, low GI carbs and lots of water have me eating less, intermittent fasting works wonders and I always need to leave some carbs before bed otherwise I have difficulties falling asleep. I've learned that I lose strength no matter how hard I try not to and then counting macros while cooking could take up all my free time while making me obsessed with eating. But these are my own experiences that may or may not work for you as well. All in all, I've learned how complex my body is and how differently it could function from other natural bodybuilders. Just to give you some insights, in the last two weeks of my contest prep, I ate an average of 2750 calories, 235 grams of protein, 55 grams of fat and the rest were carbs. Did no nature manipulation just kept them constant and only cut a little water 1-2 days before the competition. So did nothing extreme except my carb loading which turned out to be a bit much in that condition where I was. 2 days before the competition I felt way too flat so I've tried to dig information that confirmed that I must do some severe backloading. I ate like 1300 grams of carbs in that 2 days, got overloaded a little bit but learned my lesson. I came 3rd place and was ok with the results. I must admit I wanted to win but I guess without a trainer and taking into consideration that this was my first show, it was a good result. But deep down I knew that I should have overtook the 2nd place with the proper carb load and posing skills. Now all I can do is draw the conclusion, learn from my mistakes and bring a better version of myself to the stage next year. Here is my 60 second posing routine that I've learned in the last 4 days before the competition that is interesting since you are supposed to do that months before you hit the stage. The funny part that since I had no idea what routine to put together and I had no coach to ask from because I wanted to do it on my own, I just did the basic poses I was practicing and threw in some sparks at the end. Enjoy. I was lucky to win the sympathy of the judges and get the maximum score for my performance. 
One of the judges came to me and congratulated at the prize ceremony that meant a lot to me. After the event, I've contacted him on Facebook asking for some tips on improving my physique. He was super kind and helped me. Now we are working together since I convinced him to start YouTube. He managed to collect over 36,000 followers in 8 months, which is a lot as a Hungarian YouTuber since approximately 10 million people speak this language all over the globe. The guy winning our category. He had an amazing overall physique, something I should aim for next year. Now, what I want you to understand is that we should not accept things popular on the internet. Instead, we shall use them as guidance to find and map how our body reacts to different things regarding eating and muscle building. The method that works for me is massive action taking with trial and error. Trust me, in the last 6 years I've tried all major training styles in bodybuilding and even did powerlifting and crossfit as well. Experimenting with most of the popular legal supplements on the market and tried different aspects of eating. I hate the stereotyping saying bodybuilders are dumb. Could not be further from the truth, especially if you talk about natural bodybuilding that is completely different from bodybuilding in general. Here, in order to succeed, you need to have a good knowledge and patience to try several tactics and techniques. This is the way to reach your natural genetic potential. It's a slow and long journey, sometimes it's hard and boring and you must give up on some things or habits, but once you get caught and start to love the grind and the process, it's got truly enjoyable and worth every minute you put in.